Hi friends, what's going on everyone? My name's Kai, welcome to the channel. Consider subscribing, it helps me out big time. Guys, I have got a story for you. I had a god awful sleep last night and uh, I had a horrifying nightmare and I just wanted to tell you about it. So, um, let me get right into that. Guys, if you're new to the channel, um, I have horrible nightmares. You, a lot of uh, my viewers know this. I take different medications for it. Um, it's been an ongoing problem ever since I got sober. So when um, I got sober, I started to have to deal with all of the traumatic things that had happened to me during my uh, addiction, you know, um, and during my cancer. So when I was, dur like during my addiction, I would just drink and that would be my way of getting rid of my dreams and i yeah i would just drink then i wouldn't have a dream everything was fine but when i got sober i had to start dealing with my nightmares head on and it has been rough i've spoken on the channel before about a frequent dream that i have where i go to this weird like apocalyptic hospital no it's an apocalyptic hotel like, uh, imagine, like, a resort in Jamaica, um, but it's in, like, the Fallout universe, so everything is destroyed and everything. So, um, I go into this resort, and I'm either sentenced to three things, you know? I'm either going down one wing that has, uh, all, like, medical experimentation and, uh, stuff like that, and then, uh, one wing is jail, because, uh, jail is my biggest fear ever, um... And then the other one, I, I don't want to talk about that right now. But either way, one of the most frequented ones that I go to is the hospital, right? And in the hospital, they do all these crazy medical experiments on me. It's it's insane, you know? It stems back from the time that um, I was in the hospital dealing with my own cancer, um, having, you know, feeding tubes and, and uh, catheters and, and all of these different... Um, I hate talking about that. Either either way, um, I had this nightmare last night where things just went too far, and it was actually, like, a really terrifying nightmare for me. So, uh, basically, the same thing had happened, the medical experiments, but the doctors took it too far. The doctors took it too far this time, which never happens in my dreams. It's, this is the first time things have ever gone too far in my dreams. Um, but the doctors took it too far, and I was in, like, a irreparable state, you know? I, I, I could barely speak anymore. Um, I was in an irreparable spa state. Um, so, the doctor called in my family. <clears throat> my doctor called in my family, and for the next hour, basically, I had to sit with them while they said their last goodbyes to me, right? And it was fucking emotional it was really scary because i'm confused as to why i'm dying so young you know um and in my mind you know i'm i'm i was sitting there on my deathbed and i'm thinking shit i haven't had kids yet i haven't gotten married yet i haven't like I'm, I'm listing off all of the things that i haven't done and will never do you know be because i was dying and it was absolutely terrifying because uh, it, it really makes my, it really opens my eyes to the fact that I am scared of death. You know, a lot of people say that they're not scared of dying. Um, I am scared of dying. I, I, I can say that w with full confidence. The thing is, I love life. I love life. And I, and I love, I love where I'm at in my life. I love being able to travel. I love my girlfriend, I love my family, you know, I really love life. Ever since I got sober, my entire outlook on life has completely changed, and I love life. And now, I want to live to be an old man, you know, I want to live to be an 80-year-old, I want to be, I want to live to be a 90-year-old, I want to live a long and fulfilling life and have children and see them have children and, and tons of stuff, so... I was in my deathbed in this dream and I'm experiencing all of these emotions about the regret and stuff about not doing anything. And then, um, this is where the dream really sucked because the doctors 
the doctors told my family, okay, it's like time for us to, to like pull the plug. So my family left the room and the doctor pulled the plug and he said, okay, just relax. Kind of like you're, you're doing your anesthesia. Uh, the doctor was like, just relax. You know, you'll be gone any, any moment now, but I wouldn't die. Like I kept, I kept deteriorating and my mind kept going and getting it basically like the way that somebody would get drunker and drunker and drunker until they passed out. That was like the way that I was going. Right. So I knew that my family was in like the waiting room right outside my, my door. So the doctor pulled the plug and I'm lying there and I'm praying, right? Cause I, I am religious. So I'm praying in my dream and I'm like, okay, well, you know, even if I didn't get to experience these things, at least, you know, I'm hoping that I'll get to heaven, you know, and that'll be nice because I'll get to see my other dead relatives and stuff. And, uh, but death wouldn't come. It just wouldn't come. I kept deteriorating and deteriorating mentally, not physically. And then, um, I got out of my bed, right? And I was, and I, I tried to stand up and I was standing there and I'm like, okay, I have enough power to do this. And, uh, I remember walking out into the, into the, into the, uh, break room and, uh, everybody freaked out. Oh, what are you doing out of your bed? Like what's going on here? And I'm trying, I'm pleading to them. Like I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm not dying. I'm alive. Um, until I eventually just, you know, I eventually I fell to my knees and then I fell down and then I was on the floor and then I eventually did end up dying, you know? Um, and then when I died, I woke up, you know, but it was terrifying. It was terrifying because it was the very first time in my life where I've had a nightmare about dying. You know, I've had nightmares where I've had like an accident and have died, right? Like I've fallen out of planes in my nightmares. I've talked a lot about uh, the nightmares I had about being on windowsills and stuff. So I have definitely fallen and died and woken up kind of thing. But I've never experienced the on the deathbed, mind deteriorating, family around you, everything like that and uh it really really scared me because um like megumi wasn't there and it would make sense because it seemed like it was like a, a sudden kind of thing uh and she lives in japan right so it would be very hard for her to just get here um but my mom was there my grandma wasn't there it was very strange either way i just wanted to talk to you guys about it because I feel like if I don't talk about it, I'll probably just end up having the same nightmare again tonight. Uh, but it was really spooky. And uh, so I got up at 6, 6 a.m. And then from this nightmare, and then I went back to bed and then I started dreaming about like the same thing. And uh, I woke up again and then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna stay awake now and I'm gonna start my day. Um, yeah, so guys, thank you for listening to my story. I really appreciate it. Uh, that was definitely one of the scariest nightmares I've ever had. And I will definitely remember that nightmare. You know, uh, there there's only about five or six nightmares that I really remember vividly. And that will be one of them, you know. Um, either way, guys, uh, thank you so much. We recently hit 1,600 subscribers, which is phenomenal i can't believe that that is so freaking amazing uh, i i can't thank you guys enough you know thank you thank you guys enough <laughs> i really appreciate it i really appreciate it i promise that uh going forward i will uh continue to try my try my best to make the best content i can for you guys and uh remember if you have any suggestions let me know and other than that, guys, I'll talk to you later. Um, I'll be on live stream later. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye. ウォッチングソバーリビング